All right, I've got a new hack for using copper to generate all kinds of friendly frequencies for you that's very economical. So I wanted to share it with you. And it is these here. Whoops, Scotch Bright. Let me hold it up right side up. Scotch Bright. Copper coated. And it doesn't have to be Scotch Bright, but as long as it's copper coated, that should be good. So you just take out one. And I've already got, let me reach down here, I've got a, a uh, bowl that I'm using as I do this because little pieces of copper are going to come off and we want to make sure that we get them all, you know, with a, with a, uh, a damp paper towel or something to make sure that they don't get on the floor or something like that where you might step on them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this copper, uh, this copper scrubby pad right here. And you notice that it's thick on the outside. Got a ring around here. And then on the inside, if you hold it up to the light, you can see places where it is not so thick. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a scissors. It needs to be a very sharp scissors. Or you might have a wire cutter uh, where the wire cutting feature is on the tip. I have one, but it's the wire cutting feature is in the middle and it's not practical. It would need to be here. And uh, I got this. This is a Westcott. W-E-S-T-C-O-T-T. -T. I got it at Walmart. It's about 15 bucks. At least it was two or three years ago. I don't know how much they are now. This has got like a gold handle. Not plastic. It's metal. Very, very sharp. I've seen ads on uh, YouTube for Guggenheim scissors uh, that are also, I'm sure, very, very sharp. They're like $22, $23. Uh, but either one, uh, and, we, and, and this has got a sharp point on it, so you want it, the scissors, so you want to be careful with it when you point it and stick it, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick the scissors through here and snip a little bit on the thin part, not on the outside yet, because uh, I want to create a hole big enough to stick some twine through it. And so I think you get the idea. I've already got one done here, so I'm going to show you that. Uh, here it is. And then with that, I can stick this twine. Whoops. Oh, I went in the bowl. I was very lucky. That was the scissors. You know, this twine uh, from Walmart in the uh, crafts section. Um, and then the next thing you want to do with your, with your uh, thing after you put the string through it, or even before you actually do this before you put the string through it, is I want to cut it uh, not this way, but this way. And I want to go all the way around and cut every, you know, every little bit. And I want to make sure I hold this bowl here uh, like that. And the reason being is that, is that the electrons can come off you know, if there's an open end. So I'm creating a bunch of open ends here. Uh, and then the advantage of that is, is that depending on how many open ends you have determines how, to some degree, how many different frequencies you can have. Because the electrons that are coming off the, the copper, and that's just, it does that automatically, that's a property of copper, uh, it's going to jump from one bit of copper to the other. So if the more options you have for it, the more places it could go to. So if you were to look at it mathematically, you would say it's a, you're looking at a factorial, and that is, let's say you have 20 cuts in the copper, or just picking a number. Uh, it could be 50, it could be 100, who knows. Uh, so let's say 20. Well, then it would be 20 times 19, because you have 19 places it could jump to if there are 20 places you started with. And then the next one will be 18, so it'll be 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 
it's a huge, huge number when you get down to, by the time you get down to two or one, I mean, I say two or one because when you get down to two, it increases the amount when you multiply, but when you multiply by one, you still get the same number. So anyway, I th let's see, I think, yeah. And you'll see, if you look closely, you probably can't see it here on the camera. Let me, let me hold it by my shirt. I don't know if it shows. Do you see the loose hairs, the loose little pieces of copper? So as you're looking at it, you'll see that, you'll notice that, and, and that'll tell you when you've gone all the way around that you're done. You don't want to cut this way and then decide, oh, you carried away and cut that way because then you have a big chunk fall out. And you, you haven't really benefited all that much from that. You want to keep as much there as possible. So once again, you're going to take this and you're going to put the string through the hole. And it may take a few times with the scissors to make that hole big enough to get the copper through. I can see already that i got to do it some more on this one. Um, and so you'll end up with, let's see if I have this one done. No, I haven't done this one either. This one's got a bigger hole, but I'm going to put the, I'm going to find the end of the string, wherever it is, and, and I'm going to stick it through. I don't know if this was big enough or not. I might have to do it, it uh, a little more. Um, yeah. I have to play with it a little bit. There's no perfection with this. It's just a matter, you know, as long as the as long as you can pull get the, the uh, string through the twine, you're in good shape. And then you, what I do is I take these, and I happen to have a place where I hang clothes from to dry, and I have fans on the clothes so they get dry faster, right? And uh, and I have uh, the uh, heartfelt energizer fans is what I have blowing on it. Um, so you got that blowing on here, and it will sway in the wind different different directions if it's not oscillating. And uh, you'll be creating all kinds of fractal frequencies. And although this is a weaker form of doing it, because there are so many uh, heartfelt energizers out there already, plus people doing it on uh, ceiling fans, and I'll show that to you in a moment. Um, it's helping because we have biological saturation points and we may be real close and by you putting these up you'll help yourself your family or a neighbor or someone down the you know across town will get enough of the frequencies that they need for their body to function at a a better level where they feel better and they'll be you know have more vitality ouch Something just fell on my foot. What was that? Anyway, oh, I know what it was. Um, that is the new heartfelt energizers I got. An energizer. Uh, someone sent it to me as a gift. I'm going to see if I can grab it. Yeah, I got it. All right, did you see my bald spots? <laughs> this is huge. Huge. Look at this. Look at this. It's a monster. And I got to tell you, when I put this, I, I almost didn't want to show it to you because I didn't want to turn it off. Uh, I put this on a fan, and it's got to be a standing fan because from one, the, the longest distance is from point to point is 13 inches exactly. And if you get a 13-inch fan, and you know, if you don't get this exactly right, it's going to it's going to be hitting, and it's going to be hard to get it exactly right. So. You want to get a standing fan, a Lasco, L-A-S-K-O fan is the one you want to get, and it's an oscillating fan. And you, slip, you slip this on there over the, over the, uh, the middle spindle, tight, and take, you know, then tighten the knob on it, good and tight, and uh, away you go. So anyway, I turned it on, and the first couple of moments before, when I turned it on, I was kind of like, you know, you know how you get going? And so I, w I wasn't really aware of myself, you know, of how I'm doing. So it took me a couple seconds to like, oh, all right, we'll see what this feels like. And within a two seconds, it was like, whoa, this is great when it's spinning. This thing, if it's not spinning, it does minimal. It does something. You could put food on it and it will stay fresher longer. 
you know, it'd be a little healthier and whatever, but why not slap it on a fan and it'll take care of your whole family, no matter what room they're in. And so, so then, after I did that, after a little while later, I went to I went to the Walmart. It's about two three miles down the road, and um, I could still feel it, and I was feeling great the whole time I was there. Uh, it's a challenge because they have a lot of electromagnetic fields there, and uh, usually I have my fidget my little whirling bus machine to keep myself happy while I'm there. So I was feeling really really good, you know. And then all last night, just feeling better and better. And today, the same. It is just these these things, the 12 inch plate and disc, uh, mathematically speaking, uh, if you multiply different things, this is four and a half times stronger than the 8 inch. So even though it's only 50% bigger, it's stronger because, uh, well, there's a number of factors. <coughs> Obviously, one of them is, you know, if you have something, if, you, if this is turning, the inner portion doesn't turn as fast as the outer has a, has a shorter distance to go, right? So it's the outside is going faster. So this outside portion is producing a huge amount of the friendly frequencies that we talk about. So if you can, you know, if you can find your way to get one of these, please do it. Oh, but I wanted, I wanted to once again address the. Um, uh, ceiling fans because people, some people are watching this video for the first time and I pile up a bunch of stuff here for show and tell and sure enough I put, I, I had a, a hat, oh it's so fantastic, I had a, a copper wire, it probably fell on the floor when I, other thing fell, um, I have a copper wire and this is something for ceiling fans, so you, you want each one to be the same length Measure it, cut it. The thicker the better because there's more there's more electrons in a thicker wire than in a thinner wire, right? And then you're going to bend it in half as best you can. And then you're going to take your copper wire and you have the bent end, right, where it's bent. And you're going to stick it in here. You know, you're going to fit it in, open it up, open your drill up, and close it, tighten it down. And then the other end, you're going to hold it with some sort of pliers. And then you're gently going to let it twist and twist and twist and twist. And it'll be a straight line like a twizzle stick until at some point you, you can tell maybe that it wants to, you can feel it. It wants to get a buckle a little bit. And as soon as you feel that thing wanting to buckle or, or does buckle, stop it right then because it'll just keep buckling more and more. So. Uh, then you take that, well, that length of copper, and you take the bent end that we talked about. I'm trying to find a place to put this dead one. And you put it up, up towards the center of the of your ceiling fan, you know, on top of the blade is where it goes. It goes on the top side of the blade, and the open end, of it, which will be two little loose ends, on going out. And you're going to get some packing tape, and you're going to tape that down. And you might do tape one on there, you might tape two, but you want an equal number on each blade. Right? And so you get a good tape down, real good, and then you, and you might even put tape horizontally on it as well, if you want. Um, turn it on. And you will be generating a people to who, do, who are doing this say, all of a sudden, all their, their troubles and cares just seem to go away. You know, the anxieties that we have, that free-floating anxiety or whatever, and then they sleep great. They sleep great. So do that as much as you can. You know, if you're in a, a real cold climate or something, and you, you're going to be in that room, then obviously then maybe you can't turn it on. You put it on low, maybe, 
or turn or some of these fans will go in reverse and push the air up you can put it on low um, otherwise if, if you're in the other room turn it on let it run full speed why not and uh, it'll it'll help your whole family and and it'll help your neighbors and it'll, and it'll help people cross town because we have biological saturation points and so all the stuff that's been done so far with the with the energizers that people have and the ceiling fans and what have you that's getting people closer and closer to their saturation points so you don't know one one of these where did I put it? one of these could uh, be what someone needs to feel terrific and that their free-floating anxiety can go away their anger, their hostility, you know, and maybe that means that they don't argue with their spouse, or maybe it means they don't hit their spouse, or maybe it means that they don't feel like they need to start drinking. You know, maybe people, you know, some people have given up drinking, and something happens, and they, and they feel, you know, they need something to drink. Well, maybe this will, pre will prevent that from happening. And, and then they don't get drunk. And you know what happens when people get drunk? Sometimes the behavior isn't all that great. Um, plus, it just helps people in general. You know, feel, you, you, know you feel better, you feel, you feel calmer, all that. So uh, these are ways that you can improve your life. And the fractal energies, those uh, fractal means uh, different size frequencies, big, tall ones long ones, whatever. And that's the kind of frequencies we need. We need a variety of, of them, and a bunch of different varieties like we get from the sun. And so when they run into the frequencies that come from the 5G cell mass and the, five, the 4G cell towers, and even the 3G, the Wi-Fi you have in your home, the smart beaters and you have for your utilities, all that stuff, well, when, when the fractal runs into the repeating energy, the repeating frequency gets changed into a fractal frequency. So now both of those frequencies can go on and run into another repeating frequency. So it cascades and cascades and cascades. So it just goes, you know, so far. And as you know, we have irritation in this world like we've never seen before, right? The, the, in our lifetimes at least. Um, and I believe it's this repeating energy that's causing that because it's like a, it's like the blinker on your car or your turn signal. If, you, if you're sitting at the light and you have it turned on, it doesn't take long before you turn it off because it drives you nuts. Well, the f repeating frequencies from the, from the cell mass, it's that simple. It, it's the same kind of thing. It's driving you nuts. And you just don't know it because you can't hear it. You can't smell it, you can't see it, but it's doing that. It goes in actually into your sweat glands. Your sweat glands have little antennas in them, they're helical shape, and they pick up the energy and they transmit it deeper into your body. And this is why everybody's feeling irritated. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Um, so if we can get that down to where people feel really great, like I do, you know, in the last 24 hours with my, my big, 300 uh, millimeter energizer, wow! It, uh, so, so make that as a, as a uh, a goal to get one of these or or more than one. Uh, but in the meantime, and it, you know, it takes a while to get these w once you order it. And, and uh, in the meantime, go ahead and do this, and do and if you have ceiling fans, do that. So that by the time you get this. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. All right, I'm going to end this video so I can put this back on my on my fan. And did I mention, I think I did, get a standing fan that's big enough because this is 13 inches point to point. And the standing fans can handle, I think, I think they're 16 inches. Um, and you'll be off to the races and you'll feel so happy. And it happens instantly. There's no waiting. You take care and God bless.